WQAJ. Five on your health. The new year can be a time to reflect and make changes. And for some people, that means committing to what's known as dry January. And for a closer look on that, we are joined by Dr. Scott Hadland of MGH. Dr. Hadland, thank you so much for being here this morning. Thanks for having me. So what are the health benefits to giving up alcohol for a month? I have a lot of patients who do this, and there are some things that we care a lot about as doctors, and then there are other things that patients care a lot about. So things that we care about a lot as doctors include things like you know, lowering your blood pressure or reducing your risk of cancer or liver disease. Um, but then a lot of my patients will notice that when they cut back or, or stop alcohol altogether during the month of January, uh, they have an improvement in their weight. Their sleep gets a lot better. Um, patients who struggle with uh, acid reflux will notice that it gets a lot better. And so there's some real tangible benefits that people will experience when they cut back. Is just giving up alcohol for one month enough to give you any long-term health benefits? Or would you really be better off just reducing your alcohol consumption overall? Well, absolutely. Um, people would do better off overall if they just reduce their alcohol consumption throughout the year and not during January. But what we often find is that when patients try this, when they try sort of giving up uh, alcohol for a month, it sort of opens their eyes to some of the benefits that they experience. And one that I find is really motivating for a lot of my patients is one that I just mentioned, and that is that their sleep gets a lot better. Mm. And so a lot of my patients will tell me, hey, I cut back on alcohol for the month of January and I'm sleeping better. And I think I'm going to keep going with this. Um, I may not stop drinking altogether, but I'm definitely going to cut back now that I see the ways that it's improved things. And so to the extent that dry January sets a new pattern um, for people, it can be really helpful with benefits that last throughout the year. Now, for those people whose relationship with alcohol is actually an addiction and they're struggling with this, is there any sort of risk about going dry for a month? Absolutely. So for patients who drink alcohol daily in heavy amounts, um, they're at risk of severe alcohol withdrawal symptoms. And these include things like changes in your mental status, having some confusion or irritability, um, uh, usually within about a day after stopping. And patients are at risk of seizures. Um, and so this is a very serious medical condition. And, and some patients need to go to the hospital and have medical management if they stop completely. And so it's important to talk to a medical professional as you're planning to cut back. Even patients who may drink a little bit more heavily and regularly who don't necessarily have serious withdrawal when they stop um, might benefit from the support of a, a medical professional like me who can help set them up with counseling or medications or other interventions to help make this a more successful venture for them. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning and offering that really helpful advice. Dr. Scott Hanlon, thank you again.